And now, your first Alert 5 weather. We are tracking a blizzard making its way into southern Colorado. Here is a current view of satellite and radar. It's mainly going to impact, at least in terms of the blizzard concern, the southern tier. But we are all going to be seeing impacts for several days statewide with this system, and they will be significant. Now, as we take a look at Futurecast here, here's moisture content. As we move through the day, we're initially going to have our main moisture to the west of the Continental Divide. So we're going to be tracking snow showers west of the Continental Divide towards the afternoon. We'll start to see some snow showers in Teller County this evening as this low moves to the southeast. Then we're going to start to bring in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to help to strengthen the system and to give us snow here along the Front Range Corridor and the Eastern Plains. So here's how that looks as we move through the day. The San Juan Mountains getting some pretty healthy snow. Travel definitely not going to be good today in the western slope. By around 5 p.m. today, Teller County and Woodland Park, you will be seeing some snow showers beginning to work in. They'll start off fairly light. And then as we head later on into the evening, some of that moisture is going to start to increase for us. So as we head into the overnight hours, that's when this flow out of the south starts to increase. We get more moisture. We get wraparound flow along the Palmer Divide. Some potential banding snow early Monday morning along the Palmer Divide, along with gusty winds. And then that snow slowly works to the south. The Arkansas River Valley, you'll notice, doesn't get as much snow due to a combination of where this energy is and a bunch of other factors. Generally, the Palmer Divide and our southern tiers are where we're tracking the greatest snow impacts with this storm, as well as the eastern plains. For your morning commute, we'll be tracking heavy snow over the Raton Mesa, as well as most of Los Animas County, as well as the southern Sangres, and along the eastern plains as well. As we head later into the morning, snow should come to an end along the Front Range Corridor as moisture moves to the east, except along the Palmer Divide itself with the heaviest snow banding one to three inch per hour rates in Baca County as well as our eastern tier zones. As we head later into the afternoon, that snow will start to work off to the east, but we're going to keep very gusty winds as we head later on into the evening. So speaking of those winds, let's take a look at that here. As we head into the overnight hours this evening into early tomorrow, we'll see very, very strong, potentially damaging wind gusts along the Front Range Corridor. For your morning commute, 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts in the Pikes Peak region, around 50 in Pueblo. Similar story along the eastern plains. That will continue for us for much of the day, 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts for your afternoon commute as well. And then those winds will slowly work to the east as we head into Monday evening and early on Tuesday. All told, we're looking at a, very, a varied amount of snow, with the most being in the southern tier, the eastern plains, and over the Palmer Divide. I have upped a few of our totals based on the latest data, a bit more moisture coming in. That's resulting in slightly higher snow totals. Now, as a result of all of the things we just talked about, we have a lot of different advisories and warnings in effect. A high wind watch is in effect for the Springs, Pueblo, and points east tonight through Tuesday afternoon. A blizzard warning will go into effect this evening until Tuesday morning for Los Animas County, Baca County, as well as the Southern Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Travel is absolutely not advised tomorrow anywhere in these red areas, including over the Raton Mesa. Now we have a winter storm watch in effect for the Eastern Plains. Gusty winds here, and we are tracking heavy snow, but the question is how much snow are we going to get and how strong are those winds? Depending on the answer, this will either get upgraded to a winter storm warning or potentially a blizzard warning later today. Make sure to stay tuned to future forecast updates for that. All told, you don't want to be traveling tomorrow across southern Colorado, various impacts at play. Right now, 23 degrees here in the springs. We can already see that cloud cover working in. in currently in Woodland Park, it is 17 degrees. We've got a bit more cloud cover working in. Again, you'll be seeing some snow showers later on this afternoon. Your current temperatures are in the 20s. Your highs today will be in the 30s to low 40s. Overall, a very active pattern. So I just want to reemphasize, if you don't have to travel tomorrow, don't. I've got a set of three out of five storm impact tomorrow in the springs, mainly due to that wind and the snow concern. Now, as we head towards the middle of the week, we'll have a break in the action Thursday, another storm system, and then Friday we're tracking some pretty intense cold. So a very active pattern for sure. Pueblo, three out of five for you as well. We'll be tracking a few snow showers, but the bigger story is the wind for you on Monday. Secure any loose objects. On Thursday, we'll track our next system, which might give us a little bit more snow. In Canyon City, a two out of five storm impact on Monday for you because you won't see quite as much wind or quite as much snow, but still slippery conditions. And if you can avoid traveling, definitely stay inside. Woodland Park, three out of five for you. You'll also see those snow showers this afternoon. So you've got the one out of five storm impact today. Next storm system comes in Wednesday night into Thursday. In case